Hi, this is Lee Garrett and welcome to another edition of Screencast Online. When Apple releases new Mac devices, it's always tempting to discard the ones that we have and look to buy something new. However, it's not always easy to do that. They're certainly not getting any cheaper after all. And with the introduction of Apple Silicon, our devices should be lasting longer. But how can we monitor the performance of our Macs to identify whether they are struggling and potentially need upgrading? Well, iStat Menus by Biango has a wealth of monitoring and reporting options for your Mac to ensure that you know how it's behaving. It's been around for a long time and it's now on version seven. So let's get into it and see what it can do. Okay, I'm using the full version of iStat Menus. It comes with Setup. So I'm just going to open it for the first time with this demo account I use. So iStat Menus will place icons in your menu bar so that you can quickly see important statistics about your machine. Here you can select which items you want to enable. Now I'm gonna be going through these one at a time and enabling and disabling them. So for now, I'm just gonna turn off a number of these here and stay with CPU and GPU. Otherwise it's gonna get a little bit too noisy when I run through them. Here we can choose the default style for the menu bar icons. Do we want digits or graphs? You can customize these later, but I'll go for the graphs for now and click next. Then here we can have a detailed list of all available sensors when we're monitoring them or just a simple view. Again, we can worry about this later and change if needed. So iStat Menus is installing what we need. Now, as I've only enabled the CPU and GPU section, we've got just the one icon up here in the menu bar. And as it's gonna be running in the background as a login item, this alert here is just telling me that. Okay, whilst iStat menus may seem to be a very detailed and complicated utility, it's actually beautifully laid out to make it as simple as possible. Now the main application here is where we decide what will appear in the menu bar and how it's presented. So in the sidebar on the left, we have a number of icons. And if that particular section is live or enabled, there's a small dot on the left. So this is the global section where we configure the core themes and how often it updates. Then I'll just quickly run down these and we are going to be going into detail on each of them. So rules is where we set up our alerts. If various elements reach certain thresholds or reach a worrying state, we can be alerted via a notification. We can also set up keyboard shortcuts here as well to get to information quickly. Below that, we have a weather section that shows us very detailed information. Then we have sections for our CPU and GPU. We've got memory, a section for disks. We've got one for network, which I really like. We've got one for sensors, which covers things like temperatures of core components, fan speed, voltage levels. Then we have power, which focuses on battery performance. There's a time section, which is great for presenting both world clocks and calendar events. And then there is a combined section, which lets you take bits of all of the above and place them in one single pop-up window. Let's start off by looking at global. So as said, we can figure the main theme here and we can also pause monitoring with this pause button. You'll see the menu bar icon has gone. Then just click play to start monitoring again. Clicking here will switch between light and dark mode. And then below are the main color themes for the menu bar pop out windows. So if I click this CPU and GPU icon, we can see the color matches the theme. I do like this one, but it may not be for you. So if we change to the system appearance one here, we can see that it's got a light theme there. Then just swipe your way across until you find a theme that you want to have. And if you want to have a preview come up and you can click to see how it now looks. I think I'll just keep it at indigo here. And then above you can swipe to change the graph color. So mono here changes them to white as we can see here. So just pick one that you want, or of course you can go for a custom color. And these are all individually customizable as well within each of the blocks that we have. I'm just gonna leave it on blue and come down here where you can define how often iStat menus will be polling for performance updates from whatever you're monitoring. It's set for medium, but you can poll less often or more often as you wish. And then if you have a lot of icons in the menu bar, you can have a more compact space between them to bunch them up so as to fit icons for other applications in there. That's just a quick preview of one of this week's Apple-related tutorials from Screencasts Online. 
Screencasts Online is your premium source of Apple-related video tutorials.